Hi, happy Monday. It is April 20th and I am back for another read aloud video today. <clears throat> we had a few weeks off since spring break and through April so far. Um, we have been busy on our end getting live um, speech therapy video sessions going um, and that's been going very well but that's been taking up quite a bit of our days. And we have also been um, busy providing those home practice activities for our speech families. So we hope that those are going well as, as well. Um, please, of course, as always, reach out to me via email, phone, or text with any questions on those home videos or home activities, rather. I thought that this read aloud video might also be a nice way to supplement um, this home practice week before we get back into the live speech therapy sessions next week. So today we're going to do a language target. We're going to work on um, WH questions while we read a story. And there are six different WH questions that we think about. Um, the first three are kind of the ones that we consider early developing and then the second three are kind of later developing. So the first three are who, what, and where. So um, when you think about these questions and you think about um, a toddler in the first few years of life, um, a one, two, or three-year-old should be able to answer, who did this? Where is your toy? Um, what is this? Those are kind of earlier types of questions. And then when we get into the when, why, and how. Those are kind of higher level thinking. Um, and so we wanna see those develop at around four or five or six years old when a kiddo is transitioning into those elementary years. Our story today is called Mona the Vampire and it is quite a silly story, um, but it's a great story to practice those WH questions. So let's dive in and get started. It was a Friday evening. Mom had gone to karate class and Dad was reading Mona a terrific bedtime story. It was full of wicked witches and ghostly ghouls. It made her eyes pop and her blood curdle. Mona loved it. So did her cat, Fang. So where was Mom? Do we remember? If we don't remember, we can always go back and read sentences to help trigger our memory. Mom was at karate class. What's Mona's cat's name? Do we remember? Her cat's name was Fang. I'd like to be a vampire, thought Mona as she was brushing her teeth. I could hang upside down all night and never go to bed. And Fang could scare all the teachers at school. But Mona and Fang were soon fast asleep. So why did Mona want to be a vampire? Why did she think it would be cool? Do you remember the reasons she gave? She said, I could hang upside down all night. And she said, and never go to bed. On Saturday morning, Mona was up bright and early. She had a busy day ahead. First, she needed a vampire cloak. The long curtains in the dining room were just the thing. Fang loved his new bat wings. Oh my goodness, what did she make her cloak out of? She made them out of the curtains from the dining room. Fang and Mona also played with mom's makeup. Mona's plastic glow-in-the-dark fangs made her dribble a bit, but the overall effect was excellent. Behold Dracula's daughter, she shrieked. Mona's pretty silly. Mom made them a special monstrous lunch. They had bat wing soup, clammy hammy sandwiches with tomato sauce and squashed fly pie. Fang's favorites were the barbecued blood buns. Fang was learning fast. Mona took him to the backyard and taught him all the important things vampires need to know, like always wear clean undies. Then they played hide and seek a vampire and suck my blood. Where did Mona take Fang to practice their vampire skills? This is a good um, 
page to note that if we're not sure of the answer to the question, a clue might be hidden in the picture. We can see here that they're outside, right? Because we can see the green grass. So the answer to that question is she took him in the backyard. But even vampires are no match for a karate expert like mom. So when she said, I want your room as neat and tidy as a new pin, mom, Mona did her best with Fang's help. What did mom ask Mona to do? Clean up her room. On Monday morning, Mona helped mom by making her own sandwiches. She liked lots of tomato sauce. It was so finger licking and Fang watering. She put her lunchbox in her bag and stuffed Fang under her sweater. She was taking him to school. Who was she taking to school? Her cat Fang. Mona told her class all about vampires and showed them some special vampire tricks. No one would sit next to her anymore. Why wouldn't they sit next to Mona? Maybe they don't like vampires. Maybe they think she's scary. Mona always looked forward to Jim and playing on the equipment. She practiced tying all her special knots. Fang loved it. He had so much to learn. Where did she practice tying her knots? In the gym class. And look, she practiced tying her knots on her friends. That's not being a very good friend, but it's just a silly story. When Mona painted a picture on the classroom wall, the teacher shouted, enough is enough. I cannot have that child in my class. Who is the teacher talking about? She was talking about Mona. Mona's being disruptive. She sent for the principal. Enough is enough, shouted the principal. Something must be done. So Mona went to join the ballet class to calm her down. Fang went too. Where did Mona go? To ballet class. Mona and Fang taught the good little ballerinas some exciting new point work, but Mr. Kersley, the teacher, didn't like it one bit. He snapped, enough is enough. Luckily for him, it was time to go home. Hooray, shouted Mona and Fang. They didn't want to be calmed down. Where's Mona going now? She's going home. Mona pedaled cheerfully home. Vampires didn't do ballet anyway. Her cape flapped gaily behind her as she sped along. It was a perfect day for vampiring. The wind began to whistle and cold, dark rain began to fall. Mona decided to take a shortcut home past the graveyard. What started happening outside? It started raining. Where is Mona now? She's going through the graveyard. The storm grew worse. The lightning cast eerie vampire shadows. The thunder roared like a huge monster and the wind shrieked like a witch on a broomstick. The shrieking and the clamoring woke up the bats in the belfry. Mona pedaled faster. How does Mona feel? She's pretending to be a fearless vampire, but she looks scared. Mona and Fang skidded around the corner and saw their house at the end of the block. It was a great relief. Even vampires get homesick. And Mona was sick and tired. She stood miserably on the doormat and called for mom. Fang sneezed. Achoo! Let's look at Mona. How does Mona feel? Looks like she feels scared and sick. Not very good. Enough is enough, said mom firmly and made hot chocolate for them all. Then Mona was given a nice warm bath and put straight to bed. Mona had disturbing dreams that night. Wicked witches and ghostly ghouls came around to play. They had heard all about Mona the Vampire. What did Mona have dreams about? 
Yeah, ghosts, witches, scary stuff. In the morning, a pale Mona washed off all her makeup and straightened up her room. She brushed the tangles out of her hair and put away her fangs. <clears throat> I won't need these anymore, she said. Fang agreed. No more catch-up lunches and definitely no more bat hanging from the ballet bar. And that evening, when Mom was at karate, Dad read Mona a really terrific bedtime story. But this time it was about space invaders. So let's look at this picture. What did Mona do? Did she dress up like a space invader next? That's what it looks like. The end. I hope you enjoyed that silly story. Um, and I hope this was a good model for how you can practice those WH questions at home with your kids. As always, feel free to reach out to me um, by phone, email, or text with any questions about WH questions or about any of your kids' other speech and language targets. I will be posting more videos throughout this week to help support you in this home activity practice week. Um, have a good rest of your day. Take care.